There is also a lot of talk about focusing on priorities. Would you share your thoughts on prioritizing for those that may have trouble with it? That's interesting. So I have a to-do list and it probably has 150 items on it. Some of them have been on there for 30 years and I still haven't done them. And that's because they just never made it to the top of the list. And so I think there are two factors to consider for any priority. One, is it important enough to do? Another one, is it critical? Which means I have a limited amount of time to do it. So there's something like, I don't know, maybe I need to get my vehicle registered. If I don't get it registered by a certain date, that critical window, bam, I'm gonna get a ticket or I have to pay a late fee. Uh, is it important? Maybe, you know, I don't know. Maybe I don't care whether I get a ticket or not because I don't care about how much the ticket costs. Um, but when things are critical and important, that's when they get to the top of my list. So, uh, and I often will procrastinate and put things that are uh, important off, but I don't put off things that are critical. I just make a decision. Am I going to do it or am I not going to do it? Um, there are some things that I factor into uh, decision making about priorities that include uh, things like strategic elimination. And what strategic elimination is, uh, is deciding what I'm not going to do. And most people spend their time trying to figure out what they're gonna do and they keep adding things to their list. But one of the most important things you can do is decide what you're not going to do. If you're running a business, um, you know, they have that saying, you know, you can't please all the people all the time. You have to figure out who you're gonna work for and what you're gonna do for them. And you can't do everything for them. So you figure out what you're gonna do. You eliminate things strategically so that you're focusing on the things that are the most critical and the most important. Uh, Warren Buffett, you know, he's probably one of the greatest living investors that we're aware of. And uh, he only picks a couple of companies every year. He researches hundreds of companies. He spends six hours a day reading about businesses. But he only picks two companies every year. He eliminates all the others, and some of them are very good companies. But he just picks just a couple or three every year that are, you know, his top picks. Uh, Steve Jobs, when he was involved with Apple, he was very smart about getting rid of things that were not what consumers wanted. And he focused on just like one product at a time instead of having a, a bunch of products at the same time. He would focus on one product and that made him very, very good at doing what he did. Um, there's another thing that I use called effective procrastination, which means I procrastinate on a lot of things, but they're usually the things that are not important. I'll look at my list and say, ah, I can do that later, I'll do that later, I'll do that later, I'll do that later. And what's left are the things that need to be done now, the important things and the critical things. So I do procrastinate. I used to procrastinate on the important things. Now I procrastinate on the unimportant things. And uh, I often think um, about, you know, I was talking to my business partner, Olis, um, today about uh, setting priorities uh, and goals, helping people set their goals and priorities. And it amazes me that people don't put physical health at the top of their list. Um, because really simply, if you are dead, none of your other priorities matter. So you should probably try to stay alive. I and mean, that's a should, and I don't use that word lightly. I think everyone uh, would be smart to put that at the top of their list. And then right behind that is their mental health. Because who cares if you're, uh, if you got a million bucks, if you're a complete nut and you're just standing out on the street yelling at buildings. Um, so um, those two, I think, for human beings are ultimately the highest potential priorities and then everything else comes uh, after that. But I do believe that um, people have challenges setting priorities and tend to choose what's easy to do. That's what people choose to do, what's easy to do, when probably the highest priority items are what's critical and what's important. We keep those in focus and focus our action and our energy on those, um, then we're probably prioritizing wisely. Hi, I'm Ed Mitchell, CEO of Intent One. We really appreciate you taking time out to learn from our content. If you're interested in more, you can find us at intentone.net. Thanks so much, we appreciate you.